This is a review for Five Nights at Freddy's. Directed by M Emma Tommy. So the movie has uh, Josh Hutcherson, Matthew Lillard in it. Elizabeth Lale. Um, and uh, I guess it made a bunch of money this weekend. So... So that's good for it. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a pretty good movie, actually. Um, it's uh, different than I thought it'd be. I, I I wonder if the video game's like that. So the star is Joss Hutcherson, and he is kind of down on his luck. He is looking for a job. He was a security guard, like at the, at a mall, um, but he had a misunderstanding he thought uh, this guy was uh trying to take this kid but it ended up um that it was just it was her dad and he beat the guy up threw him in a like in a um threw him like in a little little what would that be like a pond kind of was beating him up made him lose his job he's lost many other jobs he can't really hold down a job He's taking care of his sister, who's really young, played by Piper Rubio. And, um, he's offered, a, he goes to basically, kind of like a temp agency, I think, to help him get a job. And it's Matthew Lillard, and he does. And, um, it's being a security guard at, um, Freddy's, Freddy Fosbear's Pizza. So, and that's all in the beginning of the movie. Um, so this movie is very similar to Willy's Wonderland. Uh, with some definite differences. Um, you know way more about Josh Hutcherson. You know almost nothing about Nicolas Cage in that movie. And that's the point. He doesn't even say one word. So, this is a little bit longer. Um... The motives of the creatures involved are def are very different, and um, I'd say I like this more. I think it's there's the, the Josh Hutchinson's a much better character than Nicolas Cage. I mean that movie's fun. It was only like an hour and a half or less, so it's a totally different kind of movie. But in many ways, it's very similar. So, um. But, um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, I think uh, Emma Tommy, the director, does a good job. Uh, she, she does a really good job. Um, it's well shot. There's some nice uh, cinematography. Especially the lighting is, is really good. And uh, I guess one of the creators of the, of the video game helped write the movie, too. So it took a while to get the movie made. Um, so yeah, I wonder if Willy's Wonderland is <laughs> kind of ripping this off. I, I don't know. Maybe not, but they are very similar, and that came out last year, I think. So, um, but yeah, and Josh Hutcherson, he has, he has some problems. Like, when he was a kid, his, his brother was kidnapped, never seen again. And he was asked to watch his brother, his little brother, and he disappeared when they were camping. And he's never seen again, and he can't get over it. He keeps dreaming about it. In fact, he wants to dream about it so that he can remember a detail so he can find the guy that took him. And he's, like, obsessed with it. Uh, when he's at Fred, the, the uh, Freddy's place, he, he takes these sleeping pills to sleep. So he can go into his dream and find um, details about his brother's kidnapping so then he can find his, um, mainly find the guy that did it because he assumes that his brother's gone. So, um, but, um, but yeah, I, I liked it. I, I recommend it. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's not amazing, I'd say, but it, it's, it's a good movie. It, it's a little deeper than I thought it'd be. So, 
but um and it made a bunch of money so maybe there'll be a sequel who knows but uh i'll get into spoilers now so spoilers um so josh hutcherson's there he his, his uh his parents or his mother's sister or maybe it's his father's sister is trying to get custody of his sister because they say he's not fit to raise her he can barely hold down a job he has all these problems so she's trying to do that and he finally gets the job at freddy's and um she then is uh, he has a babysitter who watches his daughter? It's funny because because you, you think it's his daughter, but it's actually his much younger sister. So uh, who watches her, and he can't even pay her because you know he he has barely any money, and um, and uh, so then but that but that but the but the babysitter secretly working for for her. And trying to find something illegal that he's doing in his house. She can't find it. She just says he sleeps a lot. So she ends up paying her and I think her brother and another guy. And they go and mess up Freddy's. They go break in. Mess it up. Break a bunch of the stuff there. And um, to get him fired from the job. But when they do that and then go in, they end up all getting killed by all the monsters. By... By the creatures there. Um, so then he has to take his sister there. And he, he says, you know, just stay in this room. And of course she doesn't. And she meets all these creatures in these suits or whatever. She really likes them. And they become friends. And, um, and there's definitely some weird creepy stuff about this movie and one of the things is is that they want to keep her basically and he's in a, one of his dream sequences josh hutchinson and and they say that they'll keep uh his sister but that he can always go back to this dream with him and his family and his brother and they're all happy before they took him and um he at first agrees, but then he changes his mind and says no. So they're basically after his little sister. And that's part of this place is that the guy who created it steals children. And these are and he puts the children in, in these creatures. And basically they they their souls and body inhabit these creatures. And they want to turn his sister into one of them. And, um, and I didn't actually see this in twist coming. And then later, total spoilers, Matthew Lillard is the guy who created the place. He's the guy who gave the job to Josh Hutcherson. Maybe knowing that he has a sister, like, who knows? Um, he also has a daughter who's been helping Josh Hutcherson. She's a cop and she's in the movie too. She does a good job. Um, what's her name? Elizabeth Lale. So, and in the end, they confront Matthew Lillard. He, he's in a suit, too. Um, and he tries to, you know, kill Josh Hutcherson. And uh, him and uh, um, Elizabeth Lay will fight him and defeat him. And, um, and yeah, and then, they, and then uh, his little sister figures out how to turn the creatures against him. And they do that. So, um, yeah, but overall, I liked the movie. I mean, I was a little uh, surprised that, you know, Josh Hutcherson actually has a pretty deep backstory. And uh, I thought that was interesting, his character. He's pretty much a really messed up, uh, broken guy because of what happened with his uh, brother. And uh, in the end, he finds out that Matthew Lillard's the guy who took his brother. And his brother's dead. I didn't really get that part. It's like, did he put his brother in one of those creatures? But he it, like kills them too. So they're like, they're almost like, like insides are like zombies almost. 
zombie creatures that inhabit with the spirit of of them inhabiting the the uh the animatronic things so but um yeah it's it's a good movie it's it's different than i thought because of all that the angle with this guy steals children and puts them in, in these creatures and um and he's trying to get uh, his sister and uh I did have some questions, though. It's like, in the beginning of the movie, like, there's another security guard who's running for his life. He ends up getting killed by these creatures. It's like, so did he have, like, a daughter he would, that they were trying to kidnap or something? But they don't answer that. It's like, so why'd they kill them? I, I don't really... Why, why did they kill that security guard? But, you know, whatever. Um, it's like an hour 50. It, it goes by pretty quick. Or an hour 45 or so. There's a pretty funny scene in a uh, taxi car. I thought that was I thought that was funny. Um, and yeah, I like Matthew Lillard. I wish he was in more stuff. Uh, I've always liked him as an actor. Um, I think he's a pretty good actor. So, and the director does a really good job. So definitely a good director. I haven't seen any of her other work. So, but um. I think they're going to make a sequel because this made tons of money. And apparently, I think it's Blumhouse. They didn't have almost any confidence in the movie, apparently. But they had confidence in um, The Exorcist Believer in Halloween Ends, maybe? I don't know. Definitely better than those two movies, I'd say. So, good movie. A little bit disturbing and creepy. Because of Matthew Lillard and, you know, what he's doing, so. But, um. But, yeah, check it out. It's in the theaters now. Um, Halloween's in, a, in, a, in like, two days, so. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, that's it.